The Hallstatt culture was the predominant Western and Central European culture of early Iron Age Europe from the 8th to 6th centuries BC, developing out of the Urnfield culture of the 12th century BC Late Bronze Age and followed in much of its area by the Latine culture. It is commonly associated with Proto-Celtic and Celtic populations in the Western Hallstatt zone and with Pre-Illyrians in the Eastern Hallstatt zone. It is named for its type site, Hallstatt, a lakeside village in the Austrian Salzkammergut southeast of Salzburg, where there was a rich salt mine, and some 1,300 burials are known, many with fine artifacts. Material from Hallstatt has been classed into four periods, numbered Hallstatt A, 2, D. Hallstatt A and B are regarded as Late Bronze Age and the terms used for wider areas, such as Hallstatt culture, or period, style, and so on, relate to the Iron Age Hallstatt C and D. By the 6th century BC, it had expanded to include wide territories, falling into two zones, east and west, between them covering much of Western and Central Europe down to the Alps, and extending into Northern Italy. Parts of Britain and Iberia are included in the ultimate expansion of the culture. The culture was based on farming, but metal working was considerably advanced, and by the end of the period long-range trade within the area and with Mediterranean cultures was economically significant. Social distinctions became increasingly important, with emerging elite classes of chieftains and warriors, and perhaps those with other skills. Society was organized on a tribal basis, though very little is known about this. Only a few of the largest settlements, like Huneberg in the south of Germany, were towns rather than villages by modern standards. <laughs> Hallstatt type site In 1846, Johann Georg Ramsauer (1795–1874) discovered a large prehistoric cemetery near Hallstatt, Austria, 47.561 degrees north, 13.642 degrees east, 47.561, 13.642, which he excavated during the second half of the 19th century. Eventually, the excavation would yield 1,045 burials, although no settlement has yet been found. This may be covered by the later village, which has long occupied the whole narrow strip between the steep hillsides and the lake. Some 1,300 burials have been found, including around 2,000 individuals, with women and children but few infants. Nor is there a princely burial, as often found near large settlements. Instead, there are a large number of burials varying considerably in the number and richness of the grave goods, but with a high proportion containing goods suggesting a life well above subsistence level. The community at Hallstatt was untypical of the wider, mainly agricultural, culture, as its booming economy exploited the salt mines in the area. These had been worked from time to time since the Neolithic period, and in this period were extensively mined with a peak from the 8th to 5th centuries BC. The style and decoration of the grave goods found in the cemetery are very distinctive, and artifacts made in this style are widespread in Europe. In the mine workings themselves, the salt has preserved many organic materials such as textiles, wood and leather, and many abandoned artifacts such as shoes, pieces of cloth, and tools including miners' backpacks, have survived in good condition. Finds at Hallstatt extend from about 1200 BC until around 500 BC, and are divided by archaeologists into four phases. Hallstatt AB are part of the Bronze Age urn field culture. In this period, people were cremated and buried in simple graves. In Phase B, tumulus barrow or kurgan burial becomes common, and cremation predominates. The Hallstatt period proper is restricted to Hack and Had 800-450 BC, corresponding to the early European Iron Age. Hallstatt lies in the area where the western and eastern zones of the Hallstatt culture meet, which is reflected in the finds from there. Hallstatt D is succeeded by the Latine culture. Hallstatt C is characterized by the first appearance of iron swords mixed amongst the bronze ones. Inhumation and cremation co-occur. For the final phase, Hallstatt D, daggers, almost to the exclusion of swords, are found in western zone graves ranging from c. 600 to 500 BC. There are also differences in the pottery and brooches. Burials were mostly inhumations. Hallstatt D has been further divided into the sub-phases D1 D3, relating only to the western zone, and mainly based on the form of brooches. Major activity at the site appears to have finished about 500 BC, for reasons that are unclear. 
Many Hallstatt graves were robbed, probably at this time. There was widespread disruption throughout the western Hallstatt zone, and the salt workings had by then become very deep. By then the focus of salt mining had shifted to the nearby Hallian salt mine, with graves at Dernberg nearby where there are significant finds from the late Hallstatt and early La Tenay periods, until the mid-4th century BC, when a major landslide destroyed the mineshafts and ended mining activity. Much of the material from early excavations was dispersed, and is now found in many collections, especially German and Austrian museums, but the Hallstatt Museum in the town has the largest collection. Finds from the Hallstatt site Topic. Culture and trade It is probable that some if not all of this diffusion took place in a Celtic-speaking context. In northern Italy the Golaseca culture developed with continuity from the Canegrate culture. Canegrate represented a completely new cultural dynamic to the area expressed in pottery and bronzework making it a typical Western example of the Western Hallstatt culture. The Lepontic Celtic language inscriptions of the area show the language of the Golaseca culture was clearly Celtic making it probable that the 13th century BC precursor language of at least the Western Hallstatt was also Celtic or a precursor to it. Lepontic inscriptions have also been found in Umbria, in the area which saw the emergence of the Terna culture, which had strong similarities with the Celtic cultures of Hallstatt and La Tenay. The Umbrian necropolis of Terna, which dates back to the 10th century BC, was identical under every aspect, to the Celtic necropolis of the Golaseca culture. Trade with Greece is attested by finds of Attic black figure pottery in the elite graves of the late Hallstatt period. It was probably imported via Massilia Marseille. Other imported luxuries include amber, ivory and probably wine. Recent analyses have shown that the reputed silk in the barrow at Homeschel was misidentified. Red Kerm's dye was imported from the south as well, it was found at Hochdorf. The settlements were mostly fortified, situated on hilltops, and frequently included the workshops of bronze, silver, and goldsmiths. Typical sites are the Huneberg on the upper Danube surrounded by nine very large grave tumuli, mont Lassois in eastern France near chatelon sur seine with, at its foot, the very rich grave at Vix, and the hill fort at Molper in Slovakia. Tumuli graves had a chamber, rather large in some cases, lined with timber and with the body and grave goods set about the room. In the central Hallstatt regions toward the end of the period Hadi, very rich graves of high-status individuals under large tumuli are found near the remains of fortified hilltop settlements. There are some chariot burials, including possibly by C. Scala, Vix and Hochdorf. A model of a chariot made from lead has been found in Frog, Corinthia, and clay models of horses with riders are also found. Wooden funerary carts presumably used as hearses and then buried, are sometimes found in the grandest graves. Pottery and bronze vessels, weapons, elaborate jewelry made of bronze and gold, as well as a few stone stelae especially the famous warrior of Hirschelanden are found at such burials. The daggers that largely replaced swords in Chief's graves in the West were probably not serious weapons, but badges of rank, and used at the table. The material culture of Western Hallstatt culture was apparently sufficient to provide a stable social and economic equilibrium. The founding of Marseille and the penetration by Greek and Etruscan culture after c. 600 BC resulted in long range trade relationships up the Rhone Valley, which triggered social and cultural transformations in the Hallstatt settlements north of the Alps. Powerful local chiefdoms emerged which controlled the redistribution of luxury goods from the Mediterranean world that is characteristic of the La Tène culture. Iron swords appear in the later periods, from the 8th century, with tools coming rather later. Initially iron was rather exotic and expensive, and sometimes used as a prestige material for jewellery. The potter's wheel appears right at the end of the period. The apparently largely peaceful and prosperous life of Hallstatt D culture was disrupted, perhaps even collapsed, right at the end of the period. There has been much speculation as to the causes of this, which remain uncertain. Large settlements such as Huneberg and the Berg Stalkogel were destroyed or abandoned, rich tumulus burials ended, and old ones were looted. There was probably a significant movement of population westwards, and the succeeding La Tène culture developed new centres to the west and north, their growth perhaps overlapping with the final years of the Hallstatt culture. Art 
At least the later periods of Hallstatt art from the Western Zone are generally agreed to form the early period of Celtic art. Decoration is mostly geometric and linear, and best seen on fine metalwork finds from graves see above. Styles differ, especially between the West and East, with more human figures and some narrative elements in the latter. Animals, with waterfowl a particular favored it, are often included as part of other objects, more often than humans, and in the West there is almost no narrative content such as scenes of combat depicted. These characteristics were continued into the succeeding Le Tenet style. Imported luxury art is sometimes found in rich elite graves in the later phases, and certainly had some influence on local styles. The most spectacular objects, such as the Stretweg cult wagon, the warrior of Herschelanden, and the bronze couch supported by unicyclists from the Hochdorf chieftain's grave are one of a kind in finds from the Hallstatt period, though they can be related to objects from other periods. More common objects include weapons, in Ha D often with hilts terminating in curving forks. Antenna hilts. Jewelry in metal includes fibulae, often with a row of discs hanging down on chains, armlets, and some torques. This is mostly in bronze, but princely burials include items in gold. The origin of the narrative scenes of the Eastern Zone, from Hallstatt Sea onwards, is generally traced to influence from the Sicula art of northern Italy and the northern Adriatic, where these bronze buckets began to be decorated in bands with figures in provincial Etruscan centers influenced by Etruscan and Greek art. The fashion for decorated Sicily spread north across neighboring cultures including the eastern Hallstatt zone, beginning around 600 BC and surviving until about 400 BC. The Vaci Sicula is a Slovenian example from near the final period. The style is also found on bronze belt plates, and some of the vocabulary of motifs spread to influence the emerging Le Tenet style, according to Ruth and Vincent Megau. Sicula art depicts life as seen from a masculine viewpoint, in which women are servants or sex objects. Most of the scenes which include humans are of the feasts in which the Sicili themselves figure, of the hunt or of war. Similar scenes are found on other vessel shapes, as well as bronze belt plaques. The processions of animals, typical of earlier examples, or humans derive from the Near East and Mediterranean, and Nancy Sanders finds the style shows. A gaucherie that betrays the artist working in a way that is uncongenial, too much at variance with the temper of the craftsman and the craft. Compared to earlier styles that arose organically in Europe, Sicula art is weak and sometimes quaint, and, in essence, not of Europe. Except for the Italian Benvenuti Sicula, men are hairless, with funny hats, dumpy bodies, and big heads, though often shown looking cheerful in an engaging way. The Benevenuti Sicula is also unusual in that it seems to show a specific story. Geography Two culturally distinct areas, an eastern and a western zone are generally recognized. There are distinctions in burial rites, the types of grave goods, and in artistic style. In the western zone, members of the elite were buried with sword hack, or dagger had, in the eastern zone with an axe. The western zone has chariot burials. In the eastern zone, warriors are frequently buried with helmet and a plate armor breastplate. Artistic subjects with a narrative component are only found in the east, in both pottery and metalwork. In the east the settlements and cemeteries can be larger than in the west. The approximate division line between the two subcultures runs from north to south through central Bohemia and lower Austria at about 14 to 15 degrees eastern longitude, and then traces the eastern and southern rim of the Alps to eastern and southern Tyrol. Topic. Western Hallstatt zone Taken at its most generous extent, the western Hallstatt zone includes Northeastern France, Champagne Ardennes, Lorraine, Alsace, Northern Switzerland, Swiss Plateau, Southern Germany, much of Swabia and Bavaria, Western Czech Republic, Bohemia, Western Austria, Vorarlberg, Tyrol, Salzkammergut. More peripheral areas were Central and North Italy, Po Valley, Liguria, Venetia, Marche, Abruzzo, Friuli. Northern and central Spain, Galicia, Asturias, Castile, Chantabria Northern and north central Portugal, Minho, Douro, Tras os Montes, Beira Altawile Hallstatt is regarded as the dominant settlement of the western zone, a settlement at the Bergstalkogel in the central Sulm Valley southern Styria, west of Leibniz, Austria was a major center during the Hallstatt Sea period. 
Parts of the huge necropolis which originally consisted of more than 1,100 tumuli surrounding this settlement can be seen today near Gleinstaden, and the chieftain's mounds were on the other side of the hill, near Kleinklein. The finds are mostly in the Landesmuseum Joannium at Graz, which also holds the Stretweg cult wagon. Eastern Hallstatt zone The Eastern Hallstatt zone includes Eastern Austria, Lower Austria, Upper Styria Eastern Czech Republic, Moravia Southwestern Slovakia, Danubian Lowland Western Hungary, Little Hungarian Plain Eastern Slovenia, Hallstatt archaeological site in Vaci at the border between Lower Styria and Lower Carniola regions, Novo Mesto Northern Croatia, Hrvatsko Zagoria, Istria Northern and Central Serbia Parts of southwestern Palantrade, cultural diffusion, and some population movements spread the Hallstatt cultural complex western form into Britain, and Ireland. See also Basarabi culture Bronze and Iron Age Poland Celtic warfare Iron Age sword Urshan Noric steel Prehistoric France Zalfeld Notes References Barth, F. E., J. Beale, et al. Vieradrige Wagen der Hallstattzeit. The Hallstatt Four Wheeled Wagons. At Mainz. Mainz, Romisch Germanisches Zentralmuseum, 1987. ISBN 3-88467-016-6 Koch, John T. 2006. The Hallstatt Culture. In, Celtic Culture, a Historical Encyclopedia, ABC Clio, ISBN 1-85109-440-7, retrieved 10 October 2011 e-book ISBN 1-85109-445-8 Lawing, Lloyd and Jennifer. Art of the Celts, Thames and Hudson, London 1992 ISBN 0-500-20256-7 McIntosh, Jane, Handbook to Life in Prehistoric Europe, 2009, Oxford University Press, USA, ISBN 9780195384000 Megau, Ruth and Vincent, Celtic Art, 2001, Thames and Hudson, ISBN 0-502-8265-X Sanders, Nancy K., Prehistoric Art in Europe, Penguin Pelican, now Yale, History of Art, 1968 NB 1st EDN <laughs> Further reading Christensen, Axel 2010, Expansions, Competition and Conquest in Europe Since the Bronze Age, Reykjavik, Reykjaviker Akademian, ISBN 9979-9922-1-2, retrieved 10 October 2011 External links Media related to Hallstatt culture at Wikimedia Commons